a national project, as I said, that started in uh, 2009, right? And uh, we've been uh, uh, doing partnership with, uh, with the, the, the Brazil Canada Knowledge Exchange Project since uh, 2011, 20, 2011. And uh, the national project involves, I mean, is, is uh, based in the University of Sao Paulo, which is the largest university in Brazil and in South America as well. And uh, it involves the participation of 22 public universities in Brazil, right? And uh, I'd like you to have an idea of the universities that take part in our national project. And uh, at a certain extent, I think, with the Brazil-Canada Knowledge Exchange Project as well. So there are 22 universities. They have not started at the same time, I would say. And this, uh, we are still um, um, having the, the, all the data and analyzing everything that we've had so far, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this this morning as well. So, um, we, the beginning of our pro, of our project, we had the idea to investigate and also have a certain intervention in the universities and in the projects, they, uh, the intervention would be based on data that we would collect. But uh, we have to, to admit that because we had started doing this research before, before we, we, we formalized the, the project, right? So um, we already knew a lot of the contexts that we would investigate. There. So we had been doing ethnographic research in various parts of the country. So that's why we thought of intervention already. So we would, uh, let's say, um, we found that it would make sense to all of us, right? So intervention through ongoing teacher education program as well. And the investigation, so um, would count on verifying local knowledge practices about lang foreign language practices and how they are developed on teachers and the students' roles in the investigated places. So we wanted to know what people had been doing in their places. Although in Brazil we discussed methodologies and principles and uh, language polit politics, we um, knew that at a certain extent in various, in various places people would keep doing what they believed that should be done. So we wanted to register that and analyze and understand that as well. So to identify teachers and students' notions of what is global and local in their pedagogical practices, uh, this uh, came from the idea of globalized studies on, on languages. And uh, although we, we had been already discussing the, the idea that the global, uh, the, the global proposals should also meet local needs, so we wanted to investigate uh, this relationship. Uh, to survey teachers' educational backgrounds on foreign language languages teaching, it is uh, to so what what do students and teachers already know in linguistic terms? So this is also another concern. And uh, to survey regional methodologies and epistemologies related to foreign languages. So again, uh, have teachers uh, been designing new methodologies or thinking of new practices? Okay, and practices that have not been registered, but they find that they make more sense to, to their regions. So this is also part of the investigation. So the intervention that we thought was to design a syllabus according to critical education perspectives to address local specific needs. There's long tradition in Brazil to uh, be concerned about critical education since Freire, Freirean ideas, and probably much before, but then Freire made them very much popular all around the country, and outside the country as well, abroad, and to design syllabus and pedagogical materials, aiming at promoting inclusive education through foreign language and reflect languages concepts in accordance with local and global society. Our idea was to think of a teaching of languages that would really reflect a Brazilian in our education. Something that we could um, uh, use uh, uh, models and parameters from other places, but we would think and design our own 
uh, uh, projects okay, or ideas for teaching languages um, that would uh, reflect identities and cultures okay, of our own. So, we also sort of uh, invest, doing investigation funded um, by a series on literacies. And um, some people have already asked us about that because, because of the new studies on literacies that have been very uh, uh, disseminated lately in various countries. However, to our, to our account, literacies, I mean, these movements uh, have started in Brazil. Uh, with Frey, so and uh, the, those that have been engaged in these theories would uh, recognize the Freudian um, influences that they've had uh, since those times. So uh, this is also an interest, okay, to um, to go back to see uh, Freudian ideas. However, to revisit those ideas nowadays and also to know uh, what else has been produced by other uh, uh, academics, okay, even in other countries, but then also go back and see how we rethink and revisit these theories in Brazil. So my literacy is here, it's uh, because they allow awareness raise, agency, uh, critical perspectives, uh, to rethink education and the learning of languages, in the case foreign languages and mother tongue as well, and to rethink education and curriculum, and to redesign Brazilian education considering needs, interests, ide identities, cultures, and everything that is related to our country as well. Uh -huh. And um, what are some of the outcomes? Okay. Yes. Okay, what are some of the outcomes that we've had so far? Uh, our, the national project is ending already, but it's going to be redesigned with uh, new aims and proposals for the next four years, right? But so far, let, uh, we're sharing some of the outcomes we've, we've had. That is revision of teacher education programs in various of the participating universities in Brazil, so in the various regions in the country. In-service education, uh, teacher education projects have been redesigned uh, and offered uh, in, uh, in those universities. Participation in language politics discussions and design for public schools, not only uh, at the University of Sao Paulo, but in the various other participating universities in the country. They, they started a partnership with the Secretariat of Education uh, locally, and that there's also an important uh, um, outcome that we've had. Um, network of experience, exchange and studies, right? Publications, books, chapters, articles, and so on. A national and international exchange with universities and academics of various Brazilian states and other countries. And uh, here are some numbers as well, okay? <laughs> they are not, uh, uh, let's say, this is, I wouldn't say that this is a final outcome, I would say this is a partial outcome, okay, the ones that we've had so far, because we are at, uh, almost closing the project, but I do not have final numbers yet, but let's see some of them. So, we've um, supervised um, undergraduates, uh, I mean, uh, research, so the 10 have finished and seven ongoing, right? In terms of master's degree, 14 ongoing, 24, uh, PhD students, tw uh, 12 and 8 are still ongoing, and uh, master's students and PhD students that have finished and that have become professors in public universities, we have 11, okay, in the, in the project, and uh, postdoc, uh, 9 uh, colleagues have been participating, on, uh, having their sabbatical research, okay, uh, some with us and some in other universities in Brazil as well. And uh, publications so far, we've had nine books published, 20 chapters in different books, and uh, articles in peer-reviewed peer uh, journals. This is, I think this is, these are important numbers, okay, so that you, you, you have an idea of the work that we've done in four years, four and a half years, I think. Okay, that's the idea. So that's it, thank you. 
And I'm sure that we are going to have a very good uh, talk and discussion about the issues that are going to be raised here by everyone. The idea is that not only Diane and 